Yeah, this is not a this is a work in progress. This is not the complete. What I can also do, I, which actually helped, was I have some additional power. So I just plugged that uh, sentry there into another power source. But I could always have that as well. All right, Griffiths, how about you let your wife rest and you patch her up? How's that for a radical idea? Yes, I am East Coast USA. So my prisoner here will be fairly difficult to recruit, but I'm up for a challenge. Strangely enough, given all the fights I've been in, uh, no one has actually died in a fight. I've lost people to complications from fighting, but no real straight deaths from fighting, which uh, at least my defenses are holding up. Um, I've lost people to fire and infection, but no fights. All right, so there's a lot more bodies to deal with. Uh, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to get processing melting them down burning them away that of course does require more resources or research rather I don't have yet um, but I also want to do electric smelting because I do have a lot of slag I got lots of slag around this base where are you headed? Oh, you're installing the mortar fantastic Oh, they failed at this? Really? Darn. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Seeing all the dead bodies of, uh, of their friends that have attempted to come into the base and have died would also dishearten my invaders failing oh really you're hauling one steel at a time that's um that's swell jesus this guy's like an idiot psychopaths are very useful but um a group uh, a whole colony of them is problematic because they never form relationships. Um, and then you have a bunch of people that couldn't care less about one another. Which isn't a scenario you want to exist for too, too long. Because then they'll constantly be in fights and be stabbing each other and murdering each other. I could still have a death chamber. I just would have to do it correctly. All right, so now I have geothermal. Well, that death chamber was my death chamber. Like, it k killed me. Didn't kill enemies. Nudist colony in a, uh, on an ice sheet in permanent cold snap and volcanic. But that's what you were thinking. Alright, come on, Gwen. How slow are you at research? 
slow. Smoke leaf binge? Yeah, good luck with that. We don't have any. Unless you want to eat the plants out of the ground. Which reminds me, I don't really have anyone on growing anymore. Now that uh, Morgan's gone. Alright, I'm going to bury them with their tribal crap on. Because tribal clothing doesn't really sell very much. So I don't really care if I bury some wealth. Burying the bodies is what matters to me. Yeah, I'm used to Doc researching in the uh, my ice colony. She was damn fast at it. Or, I've had a lot of colonies with fast researchers. Same with Tusk in uh, another one of my playthroughs. But she's actually particularly slow because she's one-handed. And uh, due to her one-handedness... So we have our first mental event. I'm surprised it was Griffiths and not Gwen, but I think he just saw too many rotten corpses and, a, and corpses all at once. Plus, he's still in pain. And he locks a, lacks a body part. Well, I could install dentures. I don't think that's what you mean by wanting to be bionic, though. Something tells me dentures doesn't make you a bionic warrior like you had wished. Yeah, a big fire trap would be fun. Certainly, that's a that's an idea I will keep in mind once I have some more hands to grow. The trouble is, I can barely harvest my own crops. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of corn in the ground that corn, heel root, smoke leaf that have just been sitting here from lack of lack of people. What is interesting is I've gone a pretty significant amount of time with no um, planetary visitors coming to trade. I really would have thought I would would have had some um, some traders by now or pirate something because it is now uh, I have had nothing. It's been boring. I'd like to buy some slaves, please. Finally. Alright, well, Griffiths should be out of food soon. And energy. Yep, he's out of energy and... Uh, he'll be collapsing. And I'll be able to get him back to be useful. I also need Warden for Wolf. Uh, Davies is taking a whole lot of tasks here. She just inherited the plants and the, uh, the prisoners. And... I love how he's still psychotic. Even though he collapses, he's still uh, in his psychotic trance. It's funny. So what I did here was the redundancy of power. Now it's coming from the east, not easily cut by invaders. I have a new recruit. So my prisoner has decided to come to the dark side. So let's hook him up with some tasks. Constructing. Mining. He's actually a really good crafter. He is actually better than Davies. So I will take Davies off those tasks because she is too much on her plate. So that'll be helpful. His first task, roll some joints. I love it. Welcome to the welcome to the group. Here's some joints. Get rolling. Now he's also going to need a bedroom. Um, so initially, I'm just going to give him this crappy little corner of the nowhere and make him construct it himself. Is he a good constructor, though? 
Ah, oh, he's not bad. It's a poor bed, but whatever. And yes, naming the first guy. So, so let's take a look at him. He's a brawler who is a bit of a drunk, a nervous drunk at that. Um, so I have to keep him mentally sound. Um, that will be the trick. Apparently he's naked as well. And one of his friends died, but some of his rivals died too. Uh, He's a 20-year-old male. Christian Alberts. A milk, male colonist of the Iceni. And there we go. Got the first name going. <laughs> Maybe you'll be the next drunk. He has a chemical fascination. I'm not sure it's of alcohol. You were the uh, you were the alcoholic though. That I remember for sure. Although it would make sense, actually, now that I think about it, to have the brawler be named Lance and give him a lance, or spear in this case, but close enough to a lance. Um. I, actually, I do have a plasteel sword to give him, though. So that's something. And I'll do just that. Beavers. Not close enough to my base for me to care about. I haven't given her an arm yet because no one else is good at medicine. Uh, but her, and I want to give her the best chance to not be permanently maimed by the surgery or killed by the surgery. So I'm working on researching hospital beds to improve my chances at a successful surgery. So that's why I haven't moved on the surgery yet, because um, I've already lost... Oh, I can possibly buy people here. Who's my Warden Davies? Um, I've already lost two people to, like, freak accidents and the like. So, there's no... I'm not rushing to lose another. So this prisoner... This prisoner would be good. Alina Morgan. I don't know if I can afford her. Um, oh, I probably can. I just need to haul some of this silver into, into location. And haul the bows. So I'm actually going to have everyone all hands on deck hauling weapons so I can sell them quickly. That way uh, I have a better chance of being able to afford what I want. I just realized Raminen is not restricted to no traps. Griffiths, I'm having allowed for whatever reason to. You know, let's let's actually see if they trip any of them. I'm curious. Now that it, they're built, they should walk around them. But uh, time will tell. I suppose I should bury all these rotting bodies, and I'll make everyone suffer the same mood consequences from doing it. No one gets off scot free. And once I haul this last steel club, actually this one, that will be everything that I have to trade in the local vicinity. All right, so let's sell off some of these crappy weapons. Well, unfortunately the charge rifle took damage from the fire, but that's not the only thing that was damaged. My heart was damaged. My dearest colonist died. Uh, Alright, so that doesn't really yield a lot of money here to be able to buy very much. And I don't really feel like selling off uh, that much more. They're not really offering. I don't really have a lot to offer the pirates for trade. 
Um, yeah, I don't really think I have much equity. Oh yeah, I've definitely had colonists die in one shot from a trap. Not cool. Definitively not cool. Alright, so Reminen is getting crafting. He's a pretty crafty guy. He enjoys it, so... Actually, I do have a considerable amount of leathers. So what I'm going to do here is... Expand the base to include a crafting room. I think it's about time that I have some dedicated rooms here, so... Ooh, golden door. Yeah, that's really not what I meant to click there, but that would be interesting. I don't think I've ever had a golden door in any of my bases. Actually, scratch that location. I'm going to destroy this and build it up a bit. So I'll build it, uh, let's see, 9 by 9 by 9. Drop the door... Drop the door there. Oh, this isn't a bedroom yet. Nope, oh, not a bedroom. But I could make a bedroom for you. Uh, I don't know where. I'll have to figure that out. I guess I could... Ooh, why not here? I'm going to dig into this mountain a bit create a bedroom here. Yes, this is sort of Frankenstein's monster of a base. Um, but it is... Yeah, I, I could expand. Like, I could obviously build straight down to here and over, something like that. Um, and take a lot of that room. But for now, I'm just... Oh, Muffalo self-tame. Alright. I'm just going to use the space I have. Nah, I, I, I'm setting up a little bedroom for you. Making it base entirely out of gold. See, the thing is, with deep drilling now, that wouldn't be that hard. You would just uh, have to squat in some, you know, you'd have to get like a, a comms console up early, trade all the silver and everything you have for gold. I mean, maybe on a really, really hard, difficult setting, it would be hard, but, you know, gold turrets? I mean, that'd be insane. The, the, I, I guess the trouble with that is everything would be so valuable that that would be the problem is every object that you made would just add so much raw value that on a hard difficulty uh, you'd be annihilated by your own net worth you know because I don't know if a gold turret even can kill more than what it causes you in additional uh, colony value because of you know, how expensive it is. I don't know, I could be wrong, but that's, uh, yeah, that, that that's a unique thought for a challenge, for sure. Alright, so we have one workshop area, one eventual bedroom. It's actually not a full-size bedroom. Let's fix that. I've been giving everyone else 5x5s. Five five oh, actually, no, no, I take that back. My original colonists will have a proper proper bedrooms, but my additional colonists, you're not truly one of us. You're just you know just another body to our our raiders here, so mm. 
Caravan, bulk goods trader. Okay. 